So when I first got into magic, I was always obsessed with rising card tricks. They always really amazed me. I remember watching David Blaine do his rising card trick effect on the street, and you just have the cards in a in a box, and one would just rise out. That always amazed me. I've always wanted to learn how to do it. I actually did, but you know it was gimmicked, and I not a big fan of gimmick. So I found these two great rising card tricks. The first one isn't that great, but you need to know that first one to be able to do the second one, which is great. I love doing it. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to teach you those two tricks today. That's coming up right here completely impromptu. Let's get into how to learn how to do them. Okay, so the first rising effect is pretty easy, pretty quick to teach. This one, you just have to have a card selected, any card. Get a control to the bottom, so we're using the four of hearts. You control it to the bottom using any method you like. Once it's at the bottom, you're going to... Well, you do the control, you just make it look like you're shuffling, the control's done. Once it's at the bottom, you turn it over, but you don't you don't let the spectator see that it's their selection, because that will just give the whole trick away. That's not good at all. So what you do is you just have that four facing you, the spectator just sees this, and then all you have to do is kind of just stick out your index finger, stick out your uh, pinky finger, and then all you do is you say that my index finger is magical, whatever pattern you like to use. And you put your index finger at the, at the center of the deck. And you put your pinky at the face of the selection, or the bottom card. And all you do is use your index finger to rise it up. And your pinky is actually pushing it upwards. So your pinky pushes it upwards while your index is there, is there just for show. So, for the spectator's point of view, it'll look like that, like the card's rising, and then you'll be like, boom, it's your card, the Four of Hearts, and that's the first effect. Now, the second effect is the one I like much better, because it makes it more convincing, makes it more believable, and let's get on into how to do it. It's actually pretty easy, it's actually the same thing as the other one, the beginning part is the same, you get the selection, you control it to the bottom. But here's where the change comes. What you're going to do is in the previous effect, you just did your thing right there. But what you want to do here is you want to slant the deck a bit. Or you just like that. So there's a slope. What that allows you to do is that when you rise the card like that, it allows you to push forward on the card and it allows you to put it in the center. So then when you're like, whoa, one card just rose. So you're just taking it out. You could show the spectator, and then this is where you would square up. You show the spectator, look, it came right out of the center. How amazing is that? And then you reveal it was their selection. That is what makes it more convincing. What makes it, what, it takes the first effect to a much higher level. Is that the card is coming out of the center of the deck and you know they'll be like whoa how do you get it in the center it just makes it more believable and it's a trick that I like to use all the time once again I'll show it to you quickly you get the card selected 10 of diamonds boom get it to the bottom have a bit of a slope you grip the cards just like that kind of leave a gap at the bottom a bit so that you don't see the slope it just looks like a fear deck to them and then once again, I do the same position as the first effect. And then I just push forward a bit with my index. And I kind of get it into the center. Once it's in the center, I use my thumb to keep it in the center. Because if my thumb wasn't there, it could just fall straight in. And then I just square up. I show everyone, look, how to get in the middle. It's crazy. Reveal it's your card. Everyone's blown away, and you look really cool. Hey guys, it's time for the question of the day. Last time I asked, what's your favorite type of playing cards? You guys answer, check out the answers, and today I'm asking you, what do you think is the most important slate, or what slate do you like using the most? The one I think is important, and the one I like using is the Herman Pass. What do you guys like, the double lift, the 
I don't know, the card fan, what, what do you guys like using? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.